Hey, everybody. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us as Art and I talk about stuff, really important stuff for, for old people. As Art a matter of fact, today's, why don't we talk about stuffing? Oh, it is, it is November. Yeah. It's that magic month of Thanksgiving. You're right. Stuffing. Yeah, so I, I don't go know about, about our stuff. audience, but um, uh, uh, for the last several years, we have several major get-togethers of families uh, that we always used to host at our house. And our kids have uh, taken over as we took over from our parents uh, yes. and uh, relatives. When uh, So Thanksgiving and all the major holidays seem to gravitate to our house. Our kids have now picked up some of them. And uh, this year, uh, for about the fourth year in a row, third, fourth year in a row, our uh, son and, uh, and daughter-in-law are hosting Thanksgiving at their house, but with the same yeah. cast of characters. So the cleanup was a lot easier, even though we help there. <laughs> the, you know, we, we bring chairs and we take chairs, but we don't worry about setting up the whole house all day. So that's kind of nice. It what is nice. You, and I, I think it's this is a rite of passage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For yeah. for generations, at some point, the kids have to take over Thanksgiving dinner. Now, I can remember going to my grand aunt's. My grandmother, we lived with her brothers and mm -hmm. sisters and, and until they all died off. But up until the end, they were hosting Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until they died that uh, my mother would actually create Thanksgiving dinner for us. And um, sometimes we had cousins over, things like that. But um, in your case, and in, in my case, today, the kids have already taken over. We're all hale and hearty. Grandma doesn't have to cook a big turkey. Right. Grandma doesn't want to cook a big turkey. Right. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's really nice uh, when you are able to uh, to, to pass this on uh, because the family wants to continue all these things and they're willing to accept right. the responsibilities for them. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I don't remember too many Thanksgivings that we had, particularly Thanksgiving, where we didn't have non-family uh, uh, right. guests over who were either out of town. And we've actually, John, you and I have talked about this in years past uh, and had uh, out of town guests over. And uh, this year, uh, for instance, uh, uh, friends of uh, uh, my son and daughter-in-law are having their house remodeled and their 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 houses in a shambles, uh, and in a very good way. They're redoing the kitchen and so on and so forth. So they invited the family of I think it's five, uh, the two parents and either three or four kids. Yeah. So they're being added. That that's a new group. And my uh, oldest granddaughter, who's in her uh, uh, young 30s, uh, has a, uh, a, a friend, a very close friend from uh, college, and they've remained great friends. And uh, she's also invited over. So she's like, you know, family once removed from uh, 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 our kids. So it's really yeah. kind of nice, and it's continuing on. And there'll be probably three or four people who are not part of the immediate family who are there. So they, they are continuing that tradition as well. Yeah. And in our case, uh, my daughter hosts, and uh, she has friends. They have close friends who are always part of the uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, celebrations. Plus, we've got uh, her brothers and her brother and sisters and their kids. So it can, mm -hmm. depending on who shows up, it can get pretty darn big, um, big celebration. But it's, yeah, I think it's we just counted the other night, 21, 21 or more people are going to be at this. So yep. everybody's going to have to bring tables and chairs. And yep. uh, one of the other kids is, is, is uh, responsible for sending out assignments of who's going to make the string beans and this thing and the yams. So uh, the, the, yeah. that, that will continue on, except the kids are handling it all and they're arranging it all. <laughs> and every so often we have to ask the question, well, could we do this? Oh yeah, but we have to mark it down so that we know that nobody's gonna duplicate it. You know what? I think us baby boomers were very smart in handing it over to the children as early as we could. So grandma can go play golf on Thanksgiving. Right, that's exactly what our grandma, uh, grandma and grandpa, yeah, we don't, we don't play golf. 
Okay. Uh, but anyway, well, you're right. So it's not, it's nice when you have that. And uh, you've also expressed more so than I. Uh, you should check on a neighbor. And we've done this as well from time to time to sure. see that everybody yeah. has a place to go. And if not, there's always one more plate. You can always set one more plate. You bet. Okay. You bet. And uh, it's a great thing because the kids and the, the grandkids also learn from that about sharing and taking care of people. And, and thankfully, in our case, that's happened. I know that you've, you, you've done that quite a bit yourself. Yeah. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I know we're a couple of weeks early for this, but still, it's on my mind. So happy Thanksgiving and be sure to share. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.